It's a bird, it's a plane. No, actually, Superman the Escape is a new thrill ride which blasts riders into the sky at a speed of 100 miles an hour. And riding it live this morning at Six Flags Magic Mountain in Valencia, California, is our very own gadget guru and official maniac, Andy Parr. Andy, you wild and crazy guy, what's the big deal about this ride? Well, first of all, this is the fastest one you'll ever see. But first, let me welcome you to the Fortress of Solitude. You know, in the old Superman comic books, this was the place the Man of Steel came to contemplate the problems of the world. Well, oh, I remember Flags, it well. Yeah, well, here at Six Flags, it's a little different because this is the place what they use to launch the fastest, hottest roller coaster in the country today, Superman the Escape. Now, Katie, this is different from any other roller coaster you've ever seen because instead of chains, or conveyors, it uses magnetic waves, positive and, uh, and negative waves, that actually push and pull the coaster. Now, what this results in is a launch, a fast launch, two and a half Gs, zero to 107 seconds. Are you about ready to see how this thing goes? Let her rip, baby. Okay, now, watch these tennis balls, because when I get to the top, you're gonna see something fun. Okay, Gus, you're about ready. Three, two, one, let's go! Zero to 100! We are weightless. Well, this is actually the most outrageous ride you have ever seen in your life. It leaves you only saying one thing, and that's great Caesar's ghost. <laughs> <laughs> Andy, you, you've ridden in a lot of roller coasters. How does this compare to other roller coasters? Well, first of all, it's a short ride, but it's a very intense ride. That first start, that catapult that comes out, well, Katie, I'll put it this way. I tested the... Uh, a brand new Corvette last week, this is faster. It just pins you up against a seat, but it's comfortable. It's not the type of ride that you're gonna get sick on. So is it kind of like uh, flying in a fighter jet, you know, when your breasts go back into your back? Yes, it gives you that type of catapult effect, and you've done those jets, and so has Matt, and it's faster. Uh, it, it just gives you that feel that you're going back. Now, we're waiting for it to recycle, and as soon as we get the recycle cue, we'll go on and take off again on this, because what it takes, it takes about 30 seconds between each ride to get started. Andy, how did you get so fascinated with roller coasters, and do you need to get a hobby, you think? Uh, I probably <laughs> need to get a life here. Okay, we're ready. Here we go. Three, two, one, let's go! Wow! <laughs> I try to set the world's record today. Andy lost the tennis balls on that one, though, didn't you, bud? Well, you know, it, it disappeared there, but you know, I've already lost my marbles. Careful, you go from Superman to Lois Lane in no time there. We're back after your local news. And we're back at 756, and Andy Parr is still out at Six Flags Magic Mountain in Valencia. Andy, you hear us? Yeah, now, we're going to try something <laughs> different this time. You're going to toss your cookies? Yeah, you got it. <laughs> We're going to do an experiment. You know, okay, I'm going to be Willard for a minute. It's Girl Scout cookie time. Let's see what this does with cookies. Well, wait, Are you before ready? You, yeah, before you go, though, Andy, describe the, I mean, obviously the tennis balls float in the air, but is that kind of a nasty feeling as you start to, to go backwards down that chute? Yeah, it, it, it really feels absolutely outrageous. I mean, when you're coming down and you're floating, you're kind of floating in your seat, but you're not uncomfortable in the least. It's your really heart's not in ride. your mouth? Your heart's not in your mouth as you go down? No, not at all. I mean, Katie, this is one you could do over and over, and it's still a thrill a minute every time you do it. Yeah, right, Andy. How many times do you think we'd have to make you do it till we scrambled your brains more than they already are? Uh, it probably was that way before we got started. Uh, let's see the cookie toss. Okay, y'all ready? Okay, here we go. Three, Scream two, for us again, Andy. one, and we're out of here. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Another new meaning to tossing the cookie. Whoa! Andy, try it with a milkshake. <laughs> oh, gosh. 
You know what it reminds me a little bit of, Andy? You know how in some amusement parks they've got those circular rides? Oh, the whirling And you lie that. against them, you stand up, and you, you put your back against the wall, and the centrifugal force pushes you back? Is that yeah, sort of what it's like? It, it's kind of like that, except this is more of a direct force. So when you're going, it's like driving a big sports car, or like when you were on the big jet, when you're on the F-14s. It's that kind of feel. It's a, what, 45 seconds? How long does it, how much does it cost, Andy? I, I, it, it's a flat fee here, $33 for adults, 17 for kids, so you can ride all day long. And okay. you, go, you go one ride or, or more than one ride? You go one ride, then you go stand in line, three hours later you take another ride. For 45 wow. seconds. Matt was wondering how you were able to pass the height chart. <laughs> <laughs> I was lucky it was only 48 inches. I barely made it. <laughs> hey, let's go again. You ready? Go, yeah, go, go Andy, go. go. Do it. I'll see you next week. Bye. <laughs> 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 <laughs>